Hello Virgo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Star Tarot, second edition. Uh, it's by Kathy McLeland. Where are we? There we are. There's her website. Kathy McLeland. McLeland? I keep looking at it. I keep thinking I'm saying it wrong, but maybe I'm not. Either way, I want you to see their website in case you like her stuff. So you can track her down and support her however you wish, if you wish, naturally. Virgo, right? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay. Support of Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jelly Jesse Reesh. There is a website down here, hayhouse.com, if it focuses. Focus! Come on, do it. Is it? Maybe it is. Um, and that's what they have for that. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Why do I feel like somebody's, like, nagging me? Is that happening to you? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay. I feel like somebody's nagging me. Like, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. And I'm like, calm down. I'm coming. I have a minute. I, give me a minute. I feel like I, I want to just tell somebody, give me a minute. Like, give me a minute. Um... You feel like the focal point to me for somebody's attention. And I keep getting, like, somebody wants your attention constantly. And it's kind of like... The Empress... Empress? Yeah. The Empress card here... It's a good card, but it's kind of like... It feels like you have to take care of a bunch of people. It literally may be only one person, but it feels like you're taking care of a village. It's like, what the... Come on. Virgo, 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 Virgo. I see, I just keep feeling like somebody's like... Virgo, 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 Virgo. Um, this has to change. Uh, I, I just feel like it's like driving me cuckoo. And they are going to redirect their attention. I think ironically the reason why is that you're going to help this person. You're like, all right, you want my attention? All right, but this is how it works. I do this, you do that, and we're going to work together. You don't, you don't uphold your side. I'm not here for this. I'm not going to do it for you. So, you know, kind of like, you know, if you want me to help you clean up this room, first you got to straighten it up and put everything in order. Then we'll go through and we'll clean it up. We'll, you know, get the laundry done. We'll wash the floors. We'll wash the walls. We'll clean the windows. Everything we got to do. But you got to straighten it up first. I'm not going through this mess. Put everything where it's supposed to go. Then we'll clean it. It's kind of like that. Like, I'll help you. If you want me to do that, I'll help you do that. But first, you got to straighten this up because this is ridiculous. I'm not going through all this stuff. You can put all the laundry where the laundry is supposed to go. This, all this mess on the floor, pick that up. Whatever that is on the wall, clean that down. Whatever. Um, I don't know why I was... Okay, moving on. Um, that's... What, what is that? I, I'm seeing somebody look at somebody telling, like, before I even go in this room to clean it, you're cleaning that off the wall by yourself because I don't know what that is and I don't want to know what that is. I don't know why that's coming through so strong, but there you go. Um, you're helpful. Is that the... Was it Swords? King of Swords. Yeah. King of Swords. You want me to help? These are the conditions. You're going to stand by that. And they know you are, though. I feel like they should know. If they know you at all, they should know that you, you're going to say this and that's what you mean and that's how it's going to be. You'll help them. You will. But these are the conditions that must be met first. First. Um... Do they follow that? There's a lot of, like, complaining. They want you to do it for them. I don't... No, no, we're not going to do that. Um, but they keep nagging at you. It's like they're trying to wear you down, and they're, they're trying the wrong person. Do they do it your way? Yes. But I feel like you're very smart and strategic about this. It's kind of like, all right, so today, let's we'll just say today's Wednesday. It's not, but was for me, but we'll say it is. You're like, listen, I've got time Sunday from noon to four. So you got to have this, this needs to be straightened up and ready to be, I need to be able to, you need to be here with me. You need to be ready to start. This needs to be already organized. Whatever that is in the wall, get that off. 
I don't know why I keep saying that, but it's bothering me. Like, I don't know why I keep seeing it. Um, and as long as that's all set, I will help you for those four hours to clean this up as much as possible. But it's just those four hours. I'll do everything I can. You're going to help me. So we're going to do this together. We should get it. There's only one room. I don't see why it should take us more than four hours. And as it gets closer, like it's almost like Friday comes around and they realize and you're rem you're reminding them. I feel like you're reminding them. Every time they go Virgo, 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 you're like, hey, I told you what the rules are. That Sunday, noon to four, you better be ready. If you're not, I'm not gonna do it for you. So if, if I show up at noon on Sunday and this is still like it looks right now, I'm not helping you. You're gonna have to do it all yourself. So if you want my help, you better be ready. And I feel like what happens is they do, it's like they, they're like, all right, so they start getting it together. That Wheel of Fortune with organization. Like, they stop fighting you on it. And they're like, okay. Like, they get it. Like, all right, yeah. It's almost like that Friday, they start cleaning it up. Like, they, it's like, they, they straighten everything up. Then they clean whatever it is off the wall, which then, maybe that's the catalyst. They start cleaning something off the wall, and then they, well, I might as well, since I got it here, I might as well clean this. And they literally do it all themselves. Like they should have anyway. That seems very interesting to me. Because I don't think you're going to have to actually help. You just got to set it up correctly. And they'll be too impatient. They'll just do it themselves that way. Like if the way this is, it feels like they're doing it themselves. It feels, I'm feeling like I'm in disbelief of this. But okay, maybe. I mean, what? roll the dice. Let's see what happens, right? <laughs> I guess. There's something else they want, though, instead. They're going to, like, I feel like they're saying, well, I did this, I finished this, I got it taken care of, so there's nothing for you to clean now, but can you do this for me instead? It's almost like, let's play, let's make a deal. But it's not a big deal for you. It's almost like, you know, whatever they want, it's like, you're, I feel like you're looking at it and you're like, well... I, I didn't really want to clean up that mess anyway. I really didn't want to do that. So <laughs> the fact that it's done and what they want me to do now is not a big deal. I guess so. I feel like you're going to go along with it. Whatever they want, I don't feel like it's a big deal. I don't feel like it's a big deal. I feel like this is going a lot better. And they're moving... Like, for some of you, this might be the start of a positive pattern positive pattern a good pattern to start and I feel like just like I, how do I put this like don't wait for a moment to show itself where it needs this type of attention start creating moments with this type of like when you start noticing them wanting something or they, they need to get something done actually offer to help but then also put in these parameters like I see you need to get that done I can help you and you put it out in the future a little bit and just but if I'm going to do that this needs to be done first so if you want my help I can help you then just make sure this is done first it seems like whoever this person is they just need that little bit of a kickstart and then they get it done they will ask you for things but it's like it's not a big deal and I feel like you have a peace of mind going things are getting done like things are getting done more on time this way possibly even ahead of schedule which I don't think you're against um I don't see I don't see you being against that this seems to really be working but I feel like that's the whole thing with this reading like keep using this mode like even if they're not asking you for help offer help but in that same type of way and you might get things they might get ahead of schedule you might be a lot happier with them they will ask you for things when they get ahead of schedule, like they'll ask, well, since I got that done anyway, would you be willing to help me with this instead? But it seems like you're, it, it works for you. Cause like, it, because things are ahead of schedule and things stay ahead of schedule, you're very, I feel like you're very comfortable with this. This makes things a lot more cohesive for you. You got this 10 of pentacles. You're like, you're very happy with that. It's kind of like, yeah, I don't mind helping, especially if things are going to be ahead of schedule. And I feel like they'll help you with stuff if you need them to. So this might go both ways. Um, it's kind of like changing this Virgo, Virgo, Virgo energy and kind of like, you know, repositioning it 
and then getting ahead of that. First repositioning it so it works to your advantage, then getting ahead of that before they come back again and start doing the Virgo, 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 Virgo thing. You offer and then set it up and then it just seems like it, this person seems like they just need like a kickstart, like a jump start, and then they they seem to be a lot better. And if you set it up, up that way, I just feel like this is a, like it's shocking to me. Like I, if this was, if this is hitting, give it a roll. Give it a shot, why not? If it works, great. If it doesn't, like, what did you lose? I don't know. You'll know. <laughs> the comments will tell me. But, yeah, you could set this up and this might change a pattern. You may all have a whole new connection with this person going forward. Um, especially with that Ten of Pentacles and the Death card. This might be so much better. Like, I feel like the Death card is a very interesting situation. Like... They might be more self-sufficient going forward, and you might find a better way to handle your connection with them that's a lot more comfortable. I just feel like I'm much more happy. The death card does give me, like, this really good feeling. Kind of like, you know, I don't worry about this person as much anymore, or something like that. I don't feel, I mean, the death card usually isn't literal death. Could be, but not usually. Um... No, I feel like this is good. I feel like this is really good. Breaking... I don't feel like we're breaking a cycle. I feel like we're creating a new pattern. I keep thinking, like, we're creating a new pattern, and this can go very easily to your benefit. Are we good? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.